promises, promises, promises. The Bible is full of promises. And as we learned yesterday, God kept his in the person of Jesus Christ. Let's spend our time together this morning looking at some key Old Testament promises that were kept by God. Long ago, in a galaxy far, far away, well, actually back in Florida nearly 40 years ago, I sat through a Bible class and learned five key Old Testament promises that pull the Old Testament and New Testament together. Honesty requires me to note that one fellow student said I've swapped one out and only have four of the five taught by our professor long ago. Well, I checked, and he's correct. But I like my five, so won't name the teacher, since my list isn't precisely what he taught. Besides, lots of people have made a similar list. Maybe even you. Now, this morning, we have just enough time to set out the five passages. We'll hold the deeper dive into each one for later. The first key Old Testament promise is Genesis 3:15. There, God told Satan, I will put enmity between your seed and her seed. You will bruise his heel, but he will crush your head. In other words, Jesus will defeat Satan. The second is in Genesis 12, 3, where God told Abraham that in you, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. In other words, Jesus isn't just for physical Israel. The third is in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 15 through 19, where Moses told Israel that God would speak to them through prophets, and in particular, a final prophet. Jesus is that final prophet. The fourth key prophecy is in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 12 through 16. There, God promised to give David an eternal throne for David's son, who would also be God's son. Again, that would be Jesus. The fifth key promise is found in Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 31 through 34, where God promised a new covenant. Jesus brought that covenant into being with his death and resurrection. And of course, that doesn't mean the rest of the Old Testament is unimportant, but these five Old Testament promises are critical keys to understanding the story of the Bible that was summarized in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 through chapter 2 and verse 4. God has spoken to us in his son about a great salvation. Tomorrow, we will start with Genesis 3.15. Until then, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.